Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome to the character demos for uh, Disgaea D2 Episode 6. We got five classes again to show off here. And uh, this will actually empty out our queue. So starting in Chapter 7, I'm probably going to be uh, showing off a lot fewer characters. Well, maybe I won't. Uh, actually, there are a lot of generic classes I think I haven't unlocked yet, so I might start doing those. Um, but yeah, these will be the last five, uh, uh, generic classes I currently have unlocked in my, uh, main save. And first up, we have, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba, Living Armor. I'm not really sure what the deal is with Living Armor right now. Uh, I've never actually used them, so let's take a look. Uh, let's see, they seem to be, uh... Yeah, pretty good all around, actually. Uh, high attack power is good. Actually, uh, hitting hard seems to be their uh, main property here. Let's see. Patience. Increase attack power by 10% each time unit is hit. Increase attack power by enemy units defeated times... Enemy units defeated by ally units times 10%, excuse me. <laughs> Increase attack power by ally units defeated. So yeah, they're all about just uh, buffing up their attack power and hitting as hard as possible. And their strongest monster skill seems to be S-type. Uh, they can use both wind and fire, which is interesting. Let's get Flan out here and... Uh, Let's not get flown out here just yet. Instead, let's uh, do this. Some people believe the lightning comes from a wizard. Uh, kind of an odd area of effect. <laughs> no sprite scaling for us, I guess. <coughs> Three more skills. Hopefully we won't run out of targets. Next up, Black Death Circle. B level, okay. Lots of slashing, got it. And that's probably gonna get counterattack. Five, uh, five bounce, uh, four move. Yeah, this looks about fine. They don't move as fast as uh, you know, some of our humanoid units, but you know, whatever. Galatin Sword, S uh, S rank and Fire type. Very, uh, very hisatsu there. Alright, uh, let's move on to the mounted skill. Get air flying. Cross slash. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I like that. 
to get Kane and Slime out of here and move on to the next character. Alright, Kane's just gonna have to stand back for a bit while we bring out uh, the Shark Dragon. Shark dragons are all about the water element. As you can see, 50% water resistance, uh, though they are extremely weak to fire. Ooh, I like those physical stats. Definitely like those physical stats. Except I'm not trying to equip them. Alright, yeah, 155. Uh, hmm. What was I doing? Right, abilities. Water dominance. All water element damage will be nullified. The, that just means these guys are immune to water. <laughs> it doesn't mean they protect the entire party from water. That would kind of be uh, overpowered a little bit. Increased stats by 5% every time you hit on map uses a water skill. Could come in handy there if you, uh, let, if you like your uh, water guys. Aqua Depression. Decrease water element stat of enemy units on the map by 15%. So yeah, they're, they're all about water. It's very nice. Wants to be a magical girl. <laughs> okay, Michelangelo, whatever you say. Let's, uh, let's see here. Alright, uh, of course water skills. Why wouldn't they be water skills? Let's uh, start with Shark Slider. Okay. Continue. I must continue. Lorenzini. No idea what that means. Seems pretty effective, though. Very fast, too. Shark Whirlpool. <laughs> Next big tourist attraction. Oh, these guys are flying type. That's good to know. Attacks. Uh, he does have two, so, huh. Sea Dome Tragedy. <laughs> What's this gonna be? Lots of shark bites. I mean, you know, if you're a shark, what else are you gonna do? Finally, the mounted skill for the Shark Dragon. Jaws Wave Rider! <laughs> okay. And water type. Uh, I think the primary stat is based on uh, whoever's. the equipped weapon of whoever's riding them. That would be my guess because, you know, <coughs> stuff. Ranged counterattacks. Uh, nice going, Flan. Now we only have one dude left. Okay, next up, the Nether Dragon. Nether Dragons are like shark dragons, but uh, they prefer wind over water. As you can see, a uh, very high attack in HP. Uh, 
Whoops, um, blur, 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 Jeff, here we go. Yeah, Jeff I uh, actually captured uh, in the Land of Carnage, so uh, he's gonna have uh, much higher stats than these other guys. <laughs> but yeah, you can see, uh, attack is uh, really good, defense is pretty good. And... Alright, so wind dominance. All wind element damage will be nullified. Increase stats by 5% every time a unit uses a wind skill. I could add one of these guys to the party if I wanted. And wind depression. I totally did not mean to do that. There, that's what I meant to do. Alright, um, actually. What am I doing? Showing off the dragon skills. Three wind, one neutral. Okay. Let's do a windy thing. Next up. Jeff out here again. Way of Dragon. <laughs> it's like the, uh, you know, that's like how Seismic Toss looks in the Pokemon anime. At least in the first couple of seasons. I haven't paid much attention to the rest of it. Dragon Lightning! Oops. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jeff? That was pretty rad. Alright. Uh, evil dragon play. I might even give you half the world. Gee, I wonder what that's a reference to. That, on the other hand, uh, I have no idea. It was just a something. The something this here is truly outstanding. Alright, Flan, mount up, show me what the, you guys can do together. Sky High Dragoon! No, anyone can be a Dragon Knight. Pew pew. I mean, why fireballs and not lightning balls is anyone's guess. But hey, that was a thing. Next up, we have the Minotaur, also known as the uh, Noble Demon or Nether Noble. Hogmiser is one of these guys, but uh, he's uh, a little different. Minotaurs are, again, uh, all about HP and attack. A little bit of hit on the side, I guess. There we go, opening the equipment menu again. Here are their, uh, here are their base stats. At least at max tier, you know how it goes. Weak to water, it looks like. Bore charge. Increase attack power by 50%, but decrease accuracy by 30%. That sounds like a pretty raw deal, honestly. <laughs> I don't like it when my attacks miss. Great Wall. Increase defense by 50%, but all attacks will hit. Um, no, I would rather have speed than defense. Dead or Alive. Crit rate becomes 100% for unit and units attacking it. <laughs> that I could see as being useful. Alright, what we got here? Looks like, uh, looks like a couple of things uh, kept from Disgaea 1. You know, Minotaur's gotta have their axe. It's just how it goes. Alright. 
Okay, try not to take out two for the price of one with Spinning Wild Blast. We'll call it Twirling Wild Blast. This inflicts knockback, it looks like. And not the same way Fist Attacks do, either. This just uh, knocks them back as far as they can go, I guess. Swing for defenses. C level inflicts uh, amnesia. Okay. <clears throat> huh. Okay, they switch places with their target. Interesting. Next up. Boulder shot. <laughs> nice try, buddy. You're no Laharl. Alright, well, that was pretty amusing, at least. Okay, Flan, get out here, mount up, uh, show us the mounted skill. The mounted skill is Twilight Bomber. Boom. Okay, that was something, I guess. Okay, our final uh, generic class of the day is the Nekomata. These guys have been in just about every disguise, I think. Nekomatas in Disgaea D2 are all about double attacking. Uh, you can see their uh, HP, attack, and speed are all decently high. Resist wind, of course, sweet to the other elements. Uh, I can see their uh, base stats here. Whoops. I double tapped. But yeah. Enemy on the brink. After attacking, a target is under 10% HP. Attack again. Fighting spirit. After attacking, if a target is higher level, 50% chance to attack again. Cat on the brink. After attacking, if HP is under 25%, 50% chance to attack again. So, yeah. Not bad, I suppose. Uh, this one would probably make your kitty uh, easier to level up, but... I guess any of these could really be uh, useful. Alright, kitty, let's see what you got. Cat dance! <laughs> We've seen this uh, a whole bunch in uh, the episode 6 stream. Displaces the enemy, same as the fist skill. Oh yeah, Nekomata's, uh, they probably have a lot of counterattacks, let's check. Three. That's more than the average. Cat Punch Rush. Running off into the sunset. But how do they know which way the sunset is? They're kind of coming from all different directions there. Catwave Z! <clears throat> For the record, that was like four levels of charging up. Whoops. Wrong kitty! 
Hundred cat fist. Wait, learn that to survive. Ooh, double S rank. And inflict paralyze. I like that. Not sure what that's a reference to. You are already dead. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool. Whoops. <coughs> Let's get Flan up here. And, um... Lovely Paw Fist is gonna need to wait. Yeah, let's see here. Flicks knockback, okay. Okay. And uh, that's everybody. So yeah, next couple of streams might have the uh, fewer classes to demo than normal. They might not. Uh, we're probably gonna run out of the generic classes to demo by endgame, if you can believe that. <laughs> okay, see all you guys next time.